Hi, my name is Caroline, and in this video, I'll show you how to volunteer your Raspberry Pi or Mac or Windows computer in the fight against COVID-19. You and your computer can help power scientific research by donating computing power from the comfort of your home. All you need is a Raspberry Pi, Windows or Mac, and an active internet connection. Now let's get started. This is an initiative through an IBM social responsibility initiative that supports humanitarian scientific research called World Community Grid. Specific to COVID-19, the scientists at Scripps Research are doing molecular modeling simulations to look for possible candidates for the development of treatments for COVID-19, but to be successful, they need massive computing power to carry out millions of simulated laboratory experiments. Scripps Research is partnering with World Community Grid to help scientists study the world's biggest problems in health and sustainability. By using this donated computing power, the scientists aim to identify promising chemical compounds for further laboratory testing. The research team wants not only to help find treatments for COVID-19, but also to create a fast response open source toolkit that will help all scientists quickly search for treatments for future pandemics. And in keeping with the World Community Grid's open data policy, all data and tools that are developed through this project will be shared freely in the scientific community. The project's primary goal is to search for potential treatments for COVID-19, so studying proteins from SARS-CoV-2, the virus that causes COVID-19, is of the highest priority. World Community Grid volunteers, such as yourself, download a secure software program to their Raspberry Pi, Mac OS, or Windows computer or Android device. The software program called BOINC is used to run World Community Grid projects and is compatible with the Raspberry Pi OS and most other operating systems. Then, when your device is not using its full power, it automatically runs a simulated experiment in the background that will help predict the effectiveness of a particular chemical compound as possible treatment for COVID-19. Finally, your device automatically returns the results of the completed simulation and requests the next simulation. All of this happens unobtrusively. While you're going about your regular activities, such as typing an email, browsing the internet, or while your computer is idle but left on. World Community Grid receives the results you send back, often called work units or research tasks, and combines them with hundreds of thousands of results from other volunteers all over the world and sends them to the Scripps research team. The researchers then begin the difficult work of analyzing the data. While this process doesn't happen overnight, it accelerates what would otherwise take many years or might even be impossible. To get started, I'll post a link in the description field below where you can sign up for a free account to track your contributions. Next, I'll start a screen record and show you exactly how easy this is. Now, I'd like to show you a Raspberry Pi 4 that I have been running for a couple of days for World Community Grid. And you can see I've got the tasks. I've got four tasks going on simultaneously, open pandemics. I've been running this particular task for eight hours, 42 minutes and 44 seconds. It is 92% done. And you can see how much work I've done for this project. And I can look at a different one. I've been working on this project for five hours, 30 minutes and 26 seconds. This Raspberry Pi 4 has been running this BOINC manager for a little bit less than two days now. And I've already accumulated 475 work done for this project and I'm running four simultaneously. So that's, that's pretty cool that I can see my progress and what is going on. Now you should be able to see my screen. I am using a Mac OS device right now, but you could easily do this on a Windows machine as well. And in the latter part of this video, I'll go through the Raspberry Pi installation. But starting with the Mac, I originally saw this project on the raspberrypi.org blog page, volunteer your Raspberry Pi to IBM's World Community Grid. When you become a World Grid volunteer, you donate your device's spare computing power to help scientists solve the world's biggest problems in health and sustainability. Isn't that awesome? Now, next in the description field below, I get points. It doesn't actually equal real money in any shape or form. We're all volunteers here, but I do have a link. If I refer you, please use this link. And from here, you should hit join. 
They'll just ask you to sign up with your email address, your password, and accept the end user license agreement. Now, after you do that, it will take you over to this downloads link. From the downloads link, you can choose Windows, Mac, Linux, Ubuntu, Linux Cent OS, or Android. And these are the operating systems that this works with. Now it's gonna automatically default to the operating system it detects that you are on. I am on a Mac. I'm gonna hit continue and it automatically downloads a zip file. And here is the zip file. I'll double click on the zip file and then I'll double click on the folder. There is a World Community Grid installer. I'll double click on that and I'm gonna hit open and it will guide me through the software installation. I'll hit continue. I'll hit continue, continue licensing. I agree. I'm going to install this on my hard drive, continue, and I will hit install, install software. Uh, do you want non-administrative users to be able to run this on this Mac? I'm going to hit yes. Do you want to set community grid as a screensaver? Oh, I can make this my screensaver. Okay, sure. Let's do that. And the installation was successful. I'll hit close. Now the app is right here. I don't have any projects. I can choose my project. We are looking for the World Community Grid as our project. And I'm gonna hit next. And I'm communicating with the project. I agree with terms of use, next. And now I'm going to hit existing user. I just created an account and my project has been added. Click finish to close. All right, I'm hitting finish. And it should start up automatically. And it is working now. I've got one project I'm working on. Time elapsed, 47 seconds. Time estimated, three hours, 46 minutes. And uh, so I'm just gonna let this run in the background. And it seems to be working just fine. Excellent. And I am starting with a fresh install of the Raspberry Pi operating system with desktop. And this is what the blank desktop looks like. I will start by opening up my Chromium browser and I am going to install this on my Raspberry Pi 3. So I'm going to hit login because now I've already created a login and now I'm logged in and I can see all my stats here. That's what it automatically takes me to the number of points I've generated. Uh, I can recruit volunteers. That's the, this is the link I'll post in the description field. Please use that. And if you join, I will earn a bronze badge. So not real money, just to be clear. It gives me all sorts of stats about what I've done so far. I am going to go to download and I'm going to hit Linux, hit continue. And it's actually going to give me a set of instructions that I'm going to follow in order to install this onto my Raspberry Pi. Now I'm going to hit terminal and open up a terminal. And I'm going to sudo apt install the client BOINC manager right click copy right click paste enter and yes i want to continue enter and i think it is done with the first command now let's move over to sudo system right click copy right click paste enter and this makes client automatically start when i start my computer next i'll start it and now i want to allow the group access to the client file right click copy right click paste enter and now I want a sudo user mod so everybody can use it. And I want to allow my terminal to pick up the privileges of the new group and paste that, the password. This is the password to your Raspberry Pi that you set up when you set up your Raspberry Pi operating system. All right, that is done. And now I'm going to start the BOINC manager, copy and paste, enter. All right, and here it goes. Now we are looking for World Community Grid. Hit next. And I agree to terms of use and I am an existing user. I'll type in my username and password. Hit next and hit finish. And now we're just gonna wait for it to finish. Excellent, now we are working away. I can close my terminal. I can close my browser. And that is my presentation of installing the World Community Grid on your Mac computer. You could follow the same instructions for your Windows machine. And also now I've shown you how to do this on a Raspberry Pi. What's really cool about this program is I can see exactly how much computing power I've donated. I can add more than one computer and I can get bonus points for referring others to this cause. If you have a spare computer, please join me in helping the research community. 
Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye now.